In these problems, we have intersecting secants or tangent lines or chords in a circle, and um, we're trying to find segment lengths. There are three specific cases or situations and some formulas that apply to each of those. In the first case, you have two chords that cross each other. And in that case, if you multiply each half of the chord, so AP times PB, it is going to be the same as if you multiplied the two halves of the other chord. So uh, QR, uh, sorry, QP times, times PR. So that's if the, those chords intersect. Another case you can have is where you've got two secants that start from a common point. So they, they intersect out here in the exterior and then they cross through the circle. In this case, it's a little bit different. We say PA, so this section, times PB, the whole length, um, is going to equal PQ, this uh, exterior section, times the whole length. And the third case is where you have a secant line and a tangent line, and, uh, and they intersect at some point outside the circle. In this case, we take the length from this point of intersection to the tan point of tangency, and you square it, and that equals this outside portion of the secant line times the whole length here. So th three different cases, three different formulas to apply. Let's see if we can try a couple of these in our problems. This one, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just try to identify which case we've got here. It looks like we've got a secant line, and this is probably a tangent. Let's see. Um, yeah, it looks like it. So it says ED is 26 and EG is 13. So we want to find CD. So in this case, our side GE corresponds to this PT. So we're going to say GE squared is going to equal the whole, well, the, the, this part, EC, times the whole length, which is um, ED. So let's go ahead and fill in our numbers here. So this is going to be 13 squared equals this part we don't know, EC, so I'll call that X, times 26. So 13 squared is 169. So I'm just going to put this up here, 169 equals 26X. And then we'll just divide by 26 to get X. So 169 divided by 26, we've got 6.5. So x equals 6.5. And this is not exactly what we're looking for. We're looking for CD. So this is 6.5, but the whole length is 26. So this must be 19.5. So CD here is 19.5. All right, let's try another one. This one looks like we have the two secant lines that have a uh, a point of intersection on the exterior of the circle. And let's fill in our information. UY is 64, and UX is 8, and UZ we want to find, and UW, that whole length, is 40. Okay. So this is the situation where we multiply the part exterior by the whole and set it equal to the part exterior by the whole. So on this bottom portion, the part exterior is 8, and the whole is 64. So we'll do 8 times 64. And we'll set that equal to the part exterior. Well, that's what we don't know, so I'll call that x. And the whole is 40. OK. So in this case, we want to take um, 8 times 64, and then just divide that by 40 to get our answer. So. And on my calculator, that looks like 12.8. So that is a little bit of work with finding the lengths of chords in these arrangements of secant and tangent lines.